In this example, we want to test for equality between two fields, such as a password and a password verify field. And we want to do this test as we're typing. So I have an HTML page here. If I switch to my text document, you can see that I just have a simple label and ID for password and verify. I want to create a secondary value. We're going to call it verify note. I'm going to set verify note to have a simple message letting people know they do not match. We're going to add a class, both worn and hidden. Worn will define as a style and will define hidden as a style. Because it's initially hidden and has that class, we won't see it. Now what we want to do inside our document.ready method is create a method for our verify input. And we're going to set up an event handler to listen for when someone types on a key. Every time someone types a key inside verify, what we want to do is check to see if the two values are equal. So I'm going to say if as a decision statement, this.val, so I'm getting the value of this verify field. If it equals, now we're checking for equality, so it's a double equal sign, our password.val, and we'll set up an else statement. If it is equal, we want to add the hidden field so people can't see it. To do that, we'll need our verify note selector, and we have our class hidden. If it is not equal, we're going to remove our class hidden. I'm going to leave the inputs as text boxes, just so you can see and visually verify. It will work the same as if the type is set to password. I'm going to save and go back to my browser. So here's my password. I just have a basic password. As soon as I tab into it, it comes up. It recognizes the tab, and so it misses it. And as I type, every time I typed, it did a check. And as soon as I hit password, it hides that field so it sees it. If I type in and add another character, you notice that it comes up and says the passwords do not match. It re-shows that class. If I do a backspace, you notice it automatically goes away. So it's checking based upon when the key is released, that key up event. And that's how we can test things in real time as a person's typing them.